A very rare appearance alongside Hillary Clinton tonight. Al Gore and Clinton back together again. Back in 1992, the Clintons and the Gore celebrating their win. The four of them were often seen campaigning together nearly 25 years ago. And there he was today, Al Gore, who has not done many political events since his own bruising loss. ABC Cecilia Vega on why Gore decided to come out this time. Tonight, Al Gore coming out of the political shadows to deliver a cautionary tale. Your vote really, really, really counts a lot. You can consider me as an exhibit A of that truth. Gore standing with Hillary Clinton in Florida, the scene of his 2000 election loss. Here's something else astonishing for the evening. Take a look at the popular vote for the first time tonight. Mr. Gore is leading in the popular vote. Even today, the painful memories still fresh. You won, you won, you won. Take it from me, your vote can make all of the difference in this election. The Clinton-Gore relationship complicated. From the high of their 1992 win to their bitter falling out after the Monica Lewinsky scandal. When Gore ran to succeed Bill Clinton, he ran from him too. And I stand here tonight as my own man. And I want you to know me for who I truly am. Today's Clinton and Gore matchup targeting millennial voters. The microphone catching this awkward moment. About one in four millennials now leaning toward a third party candidate. President Obama recently laying it on the line. If you don't vote, that's a vote for Trump. If you vote for a third party candidate who's got no chance to win, that's a vote for Trump. Today, Gore focusing on a top millennial concern and his signature issue, climate change. I can't wait to have Al Gore advising me when I am president of the United States. Clinton riding high these days, but warning supporters not to think this race is over. I don't trust the polls. They've been all over the place in this campaign. Uh, I don't believe them when they're up. I don't believe them when they're down. I just try to work hard every single day. And Cecilia Vega joins us live tonight from Miami. And early voting so crucial, really, for both campaigns. And the Clinton team, with the Trump video in the last couple of days and her debate performances, they want to bank votes now. Yeah, David, voting is already underway in a number of states. A record number of early votes expected this year. As many as one in three people expected to cast their votes before Election Day. And Hillary Clinton and Al Gore were in this state today because the last day to register in Florida is tomorrow.